Whoa, 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 whoa. Car to get... What? You should have continued, man. Go. <laughs> Welcome to the Car to Caster Show with Zach and Mike. He has an ocarina. It's green. Hello, and welcome to Carching Casters. Um, my name is Zach. And I'm Mike, uh, as I said. And um, that was a really good idea for the intro there. That was, that was pretty sick. Well, that was a tight intro. We, we worked for hours on it. Yeah, we composed it. Do we have sheet music? And what, what are you doing? He's taking off his shirt. I'm sorry, it's really what, hot. What are you... It's really hot in this room. Okay. How hard is it to take off a shirt? Oh, God. Ah, oh, sick. Cool. <sighs> Hello. Okay. Welcome to the show. Yeah. We're, um, we're two animators uh, in the industry, and we're just here to talk about our experiences and also talk about other random shit happening in our lives, essentially. That's right, Mike. Here on Cartoon Casters, we talk about all kinds of things, like... Uh, um, a lot of that, yeah. A lot of that. Um, you know, some a few movies um, and uh, video games as well. Oh, definitely video games. Oh man, definitely video games. And um, you know, uh, we we also you know as as you might have mentioned, we were also professional animators. We, we I mean, I guess you could call me that. I mean, I guess we we get paid for what we do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, and like we we've been working in. Well, you've been working in the industry a year longer than me, but like we've been I forgot about that, yeah. We've been true. we've been in the in the system for about a year. Yeah, so. um, yeah, roughly around that. Um I I actually forgot it. I think I'm a little over two at this point. Oh yeah, yeah, right. So basically guys, um we're new to the industry, but you know, we are working in the industry. Relatively new. Yeah. Relatively. yeah. Um yeah, totally. Um yeah, where do you work, Mike? Uh well, um, we talked about this in what I'm going to dub episode zero, but um, let's just recap it real quick because it'll be better this time around. Uh, I work at Nine Story. I'm an animator. And um, uh, the first show I worked on um, was a PBS kids show called Nature Cat. Uh, the second one, this is my current show, is a, is a little show that some people might know about, uh, Magic School Bus. Um, it's the, um, I guess you could call it a, a sequel reboot season. Is that, is that the show with the aardvark that goes on wild adventures? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, um, that they call him Arthur and he's the, though Arthur is the one kid in the class that, that, that is like, oh man, another field trip. And everyone's like, oh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I'm going to pull your ear stubs, boy. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to. I'm going to tell you to take your helmet off in space and your face will be frozen and that'll scare you as a kid because all the kids watching will be scared at that part. Yeah, that, that was the episode where um, Arthur and everyone went into space and yeah. uh, DW was with them and they, yep. they, yeah. they let her take her helmet off and she fucking suffocated and died. Yeah, that that's the episode. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that's always a classic. Plenty of nightmares there. So yeah, I'm working on... Ar no, I'm working on Magic School Bus. So that was cool. What about you, Zach? What are you doing? Hi, I'm Zach. Um, I work at um, I work at Novana. Um, I work for uh, Chorus Entertainment. Um, it, it's uh, located at, at the waterfront of downtown Toronto, and uh, I'm, I'm working on a show that's not out yet. Well, it's it's public, like it's on Facebook. So I guess the show that I'm working on it's called. Uh, Did they announce this? The uh, name of the show? Yeah, like it's. It's on Facebook. Like, Sorry, guys. We uh, we got to be careful about this kind of thing. Yeah. NDA. Can, um, can carry the carry the show while I look it up. Sure, sure. So, um, so yeah. Uh, essentially, we both work on animated shows, and on the side. Oh yeah, it's it's totally. Oh yeah. So you could continue it then. Okay. Oh, wait, before that, uh, yeah, we both work on our own personal stuff on the side. This podcast is one of them. Um, yeah. And yeah. Continue on what we're saying. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I the the show that I'm working on right now. Oh, that's cool. The show that I'm working on right now is called Wish Fart, and um, it's a, it's about a um, uh, it's about a teenager leprechaun named Dez, and um, he's a uh, so you, you know how usually when you find a leprechaun out in the wild, you have to catch him first in order. For oh yeah, I saw to, one the other day. Go continue. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but like when you whenever when you fight bleh, when you find a leprechaun, you got to catch them in order for them to grant your wish. Mm -hmm. And like usually they're like 
um, they're they're like kind of neurotic and they stay to themselves and they they hoard all their gold. Yeah, Des is not like that at all. He's uh, very free spirited and he freely grants wishes to to anyone who asks for it. Ah. The the thing is that he's not fully you know honed in on his powers yet. So the the wishes come out all wonky and uh, he 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 ends up with something called the wish fart, which is like. Like kind of a fucked up wish, oh. uh, like like something backfires in some way. I get you. Um, but anyways, he he has a best friend named Puffin, who is uh, you guessed it, a puffin. Um, he's a talking anthropomorphic uh, puffin. What's a puffin? Because everyone always says puffin, and I'm like, what? okay, how many people in your day to day life say puffin? Okay, who nobody, talks about okay. puffins. Nobody says puffin, but it's a Pokemon thing, or is it? No. Okay, Igor <laughs> after. You know Poca Awesome, the Eagle Raptor video, and then like Pikachu is mad and he's like, "All you eat, all meaning is puffins." Oh, puffins! Puffins are like I don't know. In Pokemon, maybe that's just some, some kind of. Food. What is it a real thing? A puffin is an actual bird. They they lived in they live in like the Arctic and shit. They're they're the relatives to the penguin. Oh oh, okay. if I if I got that right. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna fact check. They're they're a, they're a seafaring bird and they they like to eat fish. <clears throat> Whoa. And uh, and does wow does uh, does his other friend is um, Akiko who's this uh, she she's a ghost and she died as a as a teenager and now she lives eternally that's, eternally as that's dark kind of if you think about it you don't have to think about it it's a teenager that died yeah Jesus but it's okay because uh, they're all fun loving characters and yeah. they go on wild and f- uh, fantastical adventures and wow. <laughs> no, sorry. no, that's actually, that, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. Uh, follow it on, uh, look it up on Facebook and uh, Instagram. So all that stuff that you said that that was already confirmed on their Facebook. Uh, yeah, well, like the synopsis of the show. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay, cool. Just, just, just trying to. I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, oh no. <laughs> I hope we don't have to cut that out. <laughs> yeah, I hope not too. Jesus, because like I, mean, I thought about that as soon as you started talking about it, and I'm like, I'm like, oh man. So hopefully. You know, if we cut this out, you guys don't have to hear us babbling on about um, about this, and you won't even know this happens because. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm reading this right from the Facebook page. It okay. says, "Which part is about?" An, a, a, it's an animated series about Des, a rookie leprechaun who grants wishes, which go disastrously, hilariously wrong. And it does say the characters right there. Des, Akiko, and Puffin. I'm I'm merely describing the characters. Well, then you're fine. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to protect. I'm you. not. I'm not. Thank you. I'm not giving up. What is a wi- what is a wish fart? You ask. A wish fart is a dumb thing you think to wish for when you miraculously catch a leprechaun in panic. It's also a super cool new series about desert. Okay, so it's all right. Whatever. Yeah, we're good. Apparently, Akiko is uh, 900 years old. Oh, well, that's cool. Anywho. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I do every day. That's neat. I, I do the same thing except Magic School Bus. Yep. So. Wow. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're totally just looping ourselves. So, uh, what else has been going on, Zach? What's going on in the, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't know. Just going to work and going to the gym and. Yeah, yeah, it's it's important to like. It's really it. To anyone that's going into the industry, um, or or any desk job, you've got to go to the gym at least three times a week. I'm yeah, because like do something active, like even get up and walk around once in a while, or yeah, once man. a day, just because you're gonna get like this big giant hunchback, and yeah. your 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 neck is gonna be sore. Like I I remember I was at work, and this was I think this was during a week where I didn't go to the gym much, and I was staying late nights. I remember distinctly trying to turn my head and immediately having this shooting pain on the side of my neck, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, oh man, what the what the fuck is this?" I, and, and I, I I inherited like a certain kind of I think I inherited like scoliosis from my mom, so oh shit, like uh, there would be times like usually in the late afternoon, not late afternoon, but like around like three o'clock. Where my back is just insufferable, and I have to get up. Wait, really? Around. You never told me about that. I mean, you told me about the school also, but you didn't tell me about around that time. Yeah, like my my back is always hurting. In fact, it's hurting right now. 
Oh, that's, is that why you're leaning back like that? Yeah. Oh, dude. I, I have an old man back. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. No, no, it's it's cool. I mean, uh, it's, I, I've come to accept it. Oh, well. I mean, yeah, I feel like you would have to. Um, moving on to something else I wanted to talk about. Um, <laughs> Be- great segue, right? Besides, yeah, besides my fucking suffering. Awful, <laughs> s- super terrible scoliosis. Yeah. Um... Any video games you're looking forward to? Because I can name one specifically. Yeah, I know you can. I think we're thinking of the same thing. Uh, let's say Call this. of Duty, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's say it at the same time, okay? One, okay. two, three. Sonic, Sonic Mania. Mania. Yep, you got yeah. it. Yes. Oh my god, guys, guys. I don't know when exactly we're uploading this. Really soon, probably. But Sonic Mania, at the point of recording, is about I think twelve days away from releasing. It's very close. And um, to all you Sonic fans out there, people that just want a good kind of retro stylish platformer, I mean, this is what I've been waiting for for years. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, like, it's... God, that was rude. Um... Yeah, you put your phone down. You don't fucking do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Um, yeah, dude, Sonic Mania, Sonic Mania is kind of the... Uh... No, that's just... What are you doing? Do what you did. Yeah, I wasn't doing it on purpose, though. <laughs> Anyways, Sonic <laughs> Mini is like the game that Sonic fans have been waiting for for years. Oh man, yeah, pretty so. much, pretty much. Like it's um, for one, it's got for any of the Sonic fans out there that really cares about this kind of thing, um, it's got the proper physics for one. The classic games were really fun because of the physics engine and like mm-hmm. how like the momentum worked and all that. So I'm not gonna get into it. Everyone's heard this before, but it's basically got everything. All the elements are there. It's got um, brand new levels that look beautiful. The animations for the characters look amazing. Um, the remix levels, I, I'm excited because of how much they're changing them. Although I'm not going to lie, it'd be really cool to have a game after this with all original levels. I guess so. If I'm going to be completely truthful. All right, well, I mean, maybe, like, it, I guess it all depends on the success of this one. Yeah, which this will do well. I've got... There's no way this is not going to sell well. I mean, it's a download game for one. Yeah, it's, it's only true. 20 bucks. I mean... Really? Yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, my God. Yeah, there, there's no reason for you not to get this game. Yeah. Like, really... Sonic... I think what I love the most about this, this upcoming title is that it's pure art. Like And, like, I, I know how stupid that sounds, but, <laughs> um, like, the, the soundtrack is... Incredible. Oh yeah, T. Lopes is doing a great job. That's, yeah. That's the music. Yeah, he's... yeah, it's badass. Yeah, do T. Lopes, you're doing a great job, man. Yeah, um, keep. In fact, that everyone up. on the team is doing a fucking stellar job. Absolutely. Um, and like, God, I, I think one of the first things I raved about when I saw the trailers for this was, like, the art direction. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like the well, I mean, that they bring that to attention when you first look at it, right? Because like, the first level you see in the first trailer is Studioopolis, and it's just this. Like, the contrasting colors and just... Mm-hmm. It's like what you imagine the games would look like back in the day, but this is actually what they're supposed to look like now because yeah. of the modern technology is able to cram all these colors and all this detail in. Mm-hmm. And just everything about the game's alive. Like, you look at it and... Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. It, it feels... It, yeah, it just, it just looks great. Yeah, uh, no, man, for sure. And I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to avoid... I know once this game releases and reviews start coming out for the game, and I'm sure I'm not the only one feeling this way, um, when reviews start coming out for this game, they're going to start showing off a crazy amount of footage on the internet. Yep. And that's that's very soon because, I mean, review embargoes, they usually go like a, like a few days before the game's released. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to try to avoid all that because I don't want to get spoiled on the whole game. Mm-hmm. Not that it would change much of the quality of the game, but it'd be cool. I feel like this is cool. One of those games that you want to go in as fresh as you can. Yeah, definitely. So definitely. Um, yeah, and also it's been confirmed that uh, you know that there's a uh, there's an animated opening scene. Oh my god! Yes, yes. If you've if you've ever played Sonic CD, you're probably just as excited about this as we are. Oh my god! Because yeah. like. If if the fucking Sonic CD opening, which was made with like, 
It, it was made on like you know animation cells and shit, and like yep. it was pretty limited if you think about it. I um, mean, it was. I, I'm, I'm 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 not saying it was limited technologically. Uh, I'm saying it was limited as far as the ideas go behind it. Like all Sonic's doing is just running from one place to the next, and I'm that's like, true. That's great. It was an amazing sequence, but at the same time, uh, I'm excited to see what what they do with it now. Uh, yeah, especially with the 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 guy that they have. Um, yeah, hopefully lead animator for it. I uh, yeah, I, I would assume Tyson. Um, I think it's Tyson Hess or Tyson Tyson Hees. I don't remember how his last name is actually pronounced. So I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> sorry Tyson. He's sorry so Tyson. <laughs> but like, he did. I don't know if you guys saw, but the pre order trailer he animated for that. Yes, and I'm not entirely sure if bits of that trailer. Are going to be part of the actual opening? I think I, I really that it would. Think so. I really yeah, think so. I really think so. Um, a hint for me is the fact that, um, and the, this okay, this is my this is what I'm thinking. The intro is going to be like, and I that's a nice cough there. Thanks, dude. Uh-huh. But um, this is what I think it's going to be like. And if I'm right, I'm going to be so happy because you because this is going to be I, I'll be able to know. So I imagine that. The opening is going to be like, you know, Sonic's going to pop in like he does in the trailer. And everything's going to be black and white and sketchy. And you know how in the trailer, he looks up and around and he looks up at the 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 text that they show up, that yeah. shows up in the intro? Yes. What I'm imagining is that it's going to start, to, start off as a sketch. He's going to look around and it's going to fully come to life with color. Okay. And then as he runs through color trails behind him, and then once he jumps off the ledge and it's like a shot where it's like a... It's like an it's like an upshot, and he jumps off the ledge, and he's like hangs there for a bit. It'll be fully colored up then, and then that's when you start seeing the full color animation that they were teasing at the end of the trailer. Yeah, and that's exactly going to happen. Yeah, that's what I'm. Ass- if not, I'd be surprised. That that is a very specific thing to expect. <laughs> yeah, it is, but like it just kind of paced that way when you I, look at it. I. I I guess so. Um, I, I think that the the whole mm. black and white to um, to color um, you know transition. I, I think that that was all meant for the trailer because um, you know like it, it started off like hand drawn and and it showed the idea <clears throat> evolving into something real. You know. Well, see, yeah, I totally agree, but that's why I think it will be this way. From the it's only the beginning of the trailer of the opening is going to look like that. Because you start off and it's like, and it's um, the, um, I forget the name of it, but it's like this, the really like, kind of like simple looking Sonic sketch. Yeah. And you see him sketch. So I think that's why, because like this game is also kind of an anniversary game. So it's celebrating Sonic Yeah, it's celebrating as a the, whole. the idea of Sonic. Right? Exactly. So I feel like that's why it might start off that way. What I'm, what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that the, the opening is more... Of like a storytelling thing, like it's it, like everything is re- remaining in its own tangible universe. You know what I'm saying? I think it definitely will be. Yeah. Okay. Because at the end of the trailer, we see them go into an elevator. Yeah. And it's kind of like, what, what is that elevator? We don't we don't know, What's, right? What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, and I think that's like a hint of like the fact that the opening will definitely be. We'll probably see a lot more snippets. Of what the game's about from this intro. More than Sonic CD. Sonic CD's intro was... It's kind of like showing off, like... Because at the time, it was like... There's CD technology, and that's the first time you could see full motion video. Mm-hmm. And a game sort of like, hey, let's just have Sonic running a lot. And mm-hmm. that looked really fucking awesome. And I feel like this one will definitely... Yeah, like, it, they, they definitely showed what they were capable of. Um, but, uh, you know, Sonic CD was such a... It was such a simple story, really, so... I mean, all Sonic games back in the day were, right? The... Yeah, before they got really convoluted. Um, <laughs> yeah, they it went from like painfully simple to like painfully complex, unusually complex, unnecessarily complicated. Yeah. Like, so yeah, yeah. Doctor Doctor Eggman. Doctor Kintober. Doctor Kintobor. <laughs> I'm Doctor Kintober. I am Doctor Kintober. <laughs> and like so, Doctor Kintobor, he he breaks open. He breaks open the world, the planet, and then Dark Gaia comes out, and then Sonic turns, <laughs> and, then, and then Sonic turns into a werehog, and yeah, mm-hmm. that's a plot. Yes. So, Mike, let's let's come up with a um, let's come up with a Sonic, a, a modern Sonic game 
story idea. Right, right now, you and me, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 So, are we going for oh six levels, or are we going for something decent? Um. Let's um. Let's try to remain within the boundaries of realism here. So, like, so it's like oh six. Uh, yeah. Let's, All pre- right. let's pretend we're on the Sonic t- or Sonic team. That's okay. Right. So S- Sonic is one day hanging out at a, at a Starbucks. <laughs> okay, go on. And um, so he just he's just kind of chilling there, and um, so then um, Eggman then comes in unannounced, and he unleashes a whole bunch of Eggman robots in the the Starbucks, and um, you know they break shit up, and he's like, "Ah oh, ha ha! All your coffee is now decaf or, or some shit," and and then after that, you know, Eggman's like. I've got you, Sonic, and then he takes him back to his base, and then Eggman's like, you know what, Sonic? You haven't been micro-sized before, and Eggman shrinks Sonic down to, like, an atom level, like, so he's, like, super tiny, and and basically, after that, you then meet, um, Moleculon, who is an evil, minuscule hedgehog, Back when Planet Mobius was um, was also a miniature in atom size, back in the 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 planet's um, Earth cycle in 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 the year twenty five negative <laughs> negative four. So recently, I saw a Baby Driver, <laughs> and uh, I gotta say, it it was pretty good. Don't spoil shit for me. I have not. Oh, seen you haven't it. seen it yet? No, please don't spoil it. All right, all right. All right. But what was good about it without spoiling it? Uh, do, 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 do. It's it's kind of hard to kind of put my finger on just one thing being a Guy Ritchie film because like I don't know. There's the thing is that I there are a lot of there are a lot of things about this movie that I liked, but they all kind of worked to they all kind of worked in unison. You know, I will definitely say that the um, that the opening scene yeah. is probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I wish I knew what you were talking about. But also, um, I just realized this today. Yeah. That in the opening sequence, um, Baby is sitting in the car waiting for the guys to do their job, and uh, it's a reference to the music video for um, Blue Song. Uh, yeah. I wish I knew what you were talking about. Well. Look it up. That is well as. Oh, is it the one that's like I'm blue and if I were green I would die? No, absolutely not. Because that's a good song. Yeah, that's. Wait, is it if I were green I would die, or is it a Baba Di Baba Die? It's. What? It, you, don't, you don't remember the lyrics? It, oh, it goes. Uh, I'm, I'm blue, blue Baba Di Baba. Is it? Yeah. No, it, like they're, they're not saying the actual words. It's just Baba Di Baba Die. Oh. I wonder. If I, like, I, I looked up the lyrics myself. I wonder if that's like a secret hidden code language <laughs> for the Illuminati. I'm pretty sure there's like in the in the Da Vinci Code series of books. I'm pretty sure there's a book that talks about that. Well, and somehow it links to finding out that Jesus had an affair with uh, Joan of Arc. So, wait, with the, the blue song. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, is that like part of the Da Vinci Code's like main soundtrack? Like the the Da Vinci Code shows up, and then all of a sudden, all you hear is "Ah, blue, ba ba dee, ba ba da." Because I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay, okay. Down. go. Ba, okay. Okay, ba. What else makes that sound? A lamb. Who? What else is a lamb? The lamb of God, Jesus. Ba 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 black sheep. What's Have the... you any wool? <laughs> but what is the black sheep? Joan of Arc because everything everyone thought that she was fucking nuts. I I didn't know anything about Joan of Arc. Okay, Baba D. Okay, D. D is the last letter in the word God. Okay. Wow. Baba D. Baba. Once again, the Lamb, and then die. Baba D. Baba die. The Lamb dies. Yes, as well as Joan of Arc. See, it makes sense. Wow. They're, they're linked. Oh man, what if we're like. What if we're, like, taken into a secret underground government base because we figured out the truth? The first thing that I would say to them is bim-bim. Yo, 
Don't say that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta save Bim Bim for, for like specific moments. That's why I would say that there because Bim Bim is such a powerful word that I would say that to them. When I say that, they'd say, "Oh, I, I was gonna, I was gonna like probe your your brain, but uh, after you said that, there's no reason for me to. I'm I'm so sorry." And then they then they give us, then they give us. Um, uh, give cards to Target, and they they leave us alone, and then we get to go home. I I completely lost track of what the fuck you were talking about. That, that's the extent of my imagination. It's it's pretty good. And give cards to Target. <laughs> <laughs> but I just realized something. What? It's another Target opened up in Canada, but closed down quickly. Where do you think they went? Where do you think Israel? That's it, guys. I'm done. That's it. We figured it out. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming or thanks for listening to our our first podcast. No, we're not done. I'm getting water. I'm getting water. Entertain them. Tune in next time when. Hey, uh, don't fuck fuck you. Why didn't you just make water and then bring it over here, you fucking Dilbert? I'm doing that, you ding dong. Ugh, idiot. All right, folks. Well, well, my idiot. Um, uh, friend Mike is getting water. I'm gonna play a little song, okay? You can stop now. I'm back. No, play the whole play the Simpsons theme. Homie, we're on the harmonica. So was it, was, was it Oni? Was it the Oni Plays guys that started that whole thing? No, uh, that was actually like a real series of videos made by Three Lame Studios. They, Wait, who? Three Lame. They're they're on they're, It's a YouTube channel. Three Lame Studios. I think I'll have to check that out later because there's, they kept quoting it apparently. Yeah. <laughs> there's also a uh, there's also a uh, channel on YouTube called I believe Three Lame Archives. Uh, mm. Someone, someone out there was smart enough to download all of Three Lame's videos and then save them, because Three Lame kept um, deleting all of his videos. Oh, why did you do that? I don't know. Because they were so silly. Oh, I would like to watch it. Yeah, no, it's it's good shit. Check it out, folks. Three Lame Studios. All right. There's a lot of good stuff there. There's a, um, I think one of the one of the more one of the more popular videos is um, uh, Homer and Marge are in um, Undertale. <laughs> and Homer goes, Marge, we're in Undertale. Uh, oh, yeah. Homer, look. Homer, look. It's Sans and uh, Papyrus. Did, did you get spoiled on Undertale at, at all because of all these videos? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> okay, good. Absolutely not. Because it's actually a really good game besides... Yeah, I know. I, I really do want to play it. Um, I think you'd really enjoy it, for sure. I think so, too. If anything, for for the style of it. What do you know about it? I know that um, this girl goes underground where there's monsters, and uh, there's two skeletons yep. that Tumblr seems to really love, and that's <laughs> about it. It's true. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. That That's good. It's good you don't know much about it. It's a, seven one of those games you want to go in fresh. Yes. You know it's coming on PS4 so. <coughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Does that be the perfect time for you to play? That is super convenient, yes. In fact, I'm... Because I do not have a PC. Yes. In fact, I'm probably going to get... There's a physical PS4 copy that's going to be... It's like a limited edition thing. Ooh. I'm going to be picking that up, so I'll just bring it over and we can... Great. We can check it out. Great. It'd be good. Great, great, great. Wow. Uh, Mike. <clears throat> What's up? Have you seen any movies lately? I mean, we did both go and see Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes. Yes, we did. Uh, We Uh, we went with our friends uh, to go see Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, That was my second time watching it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I enjoyed it the second time uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, But, yes. um, 
Spider-Man Homecoming? It's a pretty solid movie. Yeah, I was, um... I mean, I guess it was what I expected, but at the same time, not really. It was better than I was expecting, to be honest. I'm uh, sorry, I gotta interrupt you. Your head is like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, my head's a good shape to go bald. If I, <laughs> that's very true. It's very round. Yeah, it's it's. Although I think um, proportionately, I think my head to like shoulder ratio. I think my head's actually massive. It's it's actually a problem. All right, it's a problem. I I remember once I wanted to um, one Halloween. <laughs> one Halloween, we we you were there. Wait, like at Seneca? No, no, no. We were we were trying to find a costume for Halloween. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, let's tell the story. Um, <laughs> wait, no. Before we tell... Fuck, should we tell this story first or talk about Spider-Man Homecoming? Cause yeah, we, I, I completely threw you off. <laughs> you should finish your thought. Okay, I'm going to finish. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. No, 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 no. You know what? I didn't expect it to go as far as it let's, did. Let's talk about the Halloween thing first. We're on that. What? No, like... We're gonna... I don't even remember where we were talking about with Spider-Man. Uh, I was saying that it was it was fine. I, I said it was a solid film. I want to talk about it more in depth, so Halloween right, thing right, first. Fine, It'll be okay, quick. Fine. So we were at the Halloween store, and um, we were going to, I believe it was a Halloween party, was it? Uh, yes. Yeah, and it was like, bring a costume, whatever. Hint, most people were Shrek. Um, of course, wait, you, you're, you got the two mixed up. If wait, there was another one? Well, here's the thing. If you're thinking of... Um, the most recent time, like okay, when, no, when you, me, and George went to the uh, the the Halloween thing, that was that was for his party, right? Fuck, it's a blur. Yeah, because like they, there's two distinct Halloween parties. There's the one by Seneca. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the one where I was sexy Shrek. <laughs> yeah, you, you, great, good, good costume. <laughs> and uh, then there was George's party. Where I can't, did you even dress up? I can't remember if you did or not. I think I was just Steven Universe. Oh yeah, that's right. You were. I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot. Well, yeah, no, but it's cool. I drank, um, I drank a lot of whiskey that night. <laughs> what do you not though? Shut up. But um, so anyways, we were at the Halloween store, and um, before I, because I okay, I wanted to go in and I wanted to be Walter White from Breaking Bad, because. I just finished for the watching the show for the first time. I was really late to it, but I marathoned it all, and I still think it's one of the best shows ever. I'm sure a lot of people agree. It, yeah, it's a fucking masterpiece. So I was like, you know what? I want to be Walter White. And um, I was trying to find the kind of hat he would wear. It's like not, it's, it's not a fedora. It's like a... Eh, it's like the it's, it's like fedora's like nicer brother. Like a, it, it, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, I was trying to find a hat like that. Not a single fucking one in that whole store fit. None. They were all too small for my fat fucking head. You did try a lot of them. I tried all of them. <laughs> all of them. And and at one point, to ease the pain, thank you very much, you're like, hey, dude, try this Shrek costume on. Yeah. It was a full body Shrek costume. <laughs> yeah. And it was, what, a hundred something dollars for it? Something like that, yeah. And like... <laughs> and I remember when I was trying it on in the change room, I it was the most confusing thing to try on. I was like, "How the f- how does this work?" I was in there for a good twenty, like ten minutes. You came out with it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that was. Been... Yeah, yeah. It was. Um, it did, was good. Did you stop to think about how much you loved your friends and how glad you were you had them in your life? <laughs> yeah, I, I was very happy that that day. That was. Yeah. That was quite an experience, I gotta say. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think I walked out with anything. Um, that was good. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, anyways, back to uh, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming. Solid film. Yeah. So, I, I definitely agree. I, uh, I'm not a big superhero guy at all. Um, I'm not, like, a big fan of them. I don't hate the superhero movies for good, which is why I like this one so much. It, um, without spoiling anything, because I'm sure some people listening in probably haven't seen it, I guess. Um, yep. I like how it, one, it didn't have the origin story. Thank fuck. Yeah, because, like, 
that was really smart. I mean, like, everybody knows the fucking origin story. Everyone knows about Uncle Ben and all that stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty clear at this point. So they were like, you know what, no, we'll skip that. Um, I liked the actor that played Peter Parker. I thought he was perfect. Tom Holland, yeah. Probably the best Peter Parker in the live-action film so far. I agree with that. I mean, I have a, a really nostalgic connection with the Raimi films, but, like... Yeah, and you know what? I, I made a lot of um, comparisons between the Sam Raimi ones and uh, this new one. Yeah. Um, like the, the Sam Raimi ones, they you know they were far more dramatic and uh, in a lot of ways cinematic too. Like, uh, Well, I mean, it's funny. They're both dramatic and corny at the same time. I guess so, but... Uh, Especially the first one. Well, the, I wouldn't say that Homecoming was particularly dramatic. I mean, like, no, 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 no. It was definitely the most... It had the most fun, I think. Yeah, definitely. It, um, I loved how it was filled with these like pretty pretty funny gags throughout the whole thing. Um, yes. I, I guess some people would say that it kind of loses some of its seriousness, but like, they still had serious moments in the film that did kind of have you on the edge of your seat, you know? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, there, there were definitely some pretty good twists in there. Um, yeah. I, I just like the idea that they... They took the idea of Spider-Man and handled it um, in a more uh, realistic way, I guess I could say. He's like, it, the fact is that he's just a kid, and he doesn't really know what to do with his powers yet. Definitely. And, um, yeah, it's good to see the the development of Peter and as Spider-Man go, like, as, it, as, you, as he goes. Like, it's really... It, you know what it felt like to me? I was watching it, and I'm just kind of imagining the whole time... I can imagine this whole thing as a TV show, split up into episodes. Yeah, I can see that. Because like it's like it's like a really high budget TV show, and I feel like that's what a lot of Marvel films are yeah. kind of going for. You know what? Um, yeah, I agree with you. Um, but yeah, this it was very much like Spectacular Spider-Man. Maybe that's why I liked it so much. Yeah. Um, I um, a friend George. He um, I remember. Okay, let me dial back. I used to watch a bit of Spectacular whenever it was on TV. Um, I, I didn't really see it from the beginning, so I didn't think too, too much of it, although I liked the art style. Um, but like I recently, um, well not recently, it's been a, quite a while actually, uh, friend George and I, um, you know, he, we sat down and watched quite a bit of Spectacular. Uh, hmm. I've watched m pretty much all of season one and a bit of season two, and yeah, it kind of had that same feel where it was, you know, it had that nice comedy but it also had a lot of moments of character building with Peter and it was really it was really about that and the relationships for with the characters <coughs> yeah um, <coughs> like uh, for me I, I wasn't really <coughs> particularly care uh, I wasn't particularly crazy about the the art style for spectacular oh no no not really um, I I don't really like the the big um, the big peoples in the eyes. I, I found it to be a little too uh, uh, childish. Um, but um, you know, that's just me. I'm not. I'm not harking on it or anything. Um, but uh, the the writing is definitely the strongest uh, part of it because uh, it it really um, what is it? it? They they really took the time to well, they they spent a lot of time on uh, Peter's. Um, you know, like um, you know, the way he doubts himself and uh, all that stuff. Like, like they they really showed his conviction, uh, and and that's that's what Spider Man is. He's a he's a hero with conviction, mm -hmm. and uh, he's never really sure of himself, no matter what he does. And and uh, he he doubts everything he does, and he thinks he's always not good enough, and uh, all that stuff. So that that's what Spectacular did, and. Um, Spider -Man, Spider Man Homecoming it kind of was a bit of the opposite, wasn't it? It was the opposite. Okay, okay, just saying now. Okay, let's get this for it. We should no, put it. No, no we're not, not going to talk about spoilers. Well, I, I don't want people to have to skip you to the podcast. Or... Oh, that's true. Oh man, that's rough. It's kind of hard to decide. Just, huh? just check it out. Um, check it out. It's, it's pretty it good. If uh, I, 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 I've been comparing uh, Spider Man Homecoming to The Karate Kid. Uh, if anyone has seen both movies, will probably, I don't know. Hopefully, you'll agree with me. I don't know. It it's um, because Karate Kid is about a like, kind of like this hot headed kid that uh, that thinks uh, thinks he knows you know how to handle himself, but he really doesn't. 
and uh, Master Miyagi, um, you know, shows him, you know, that he really doesn't know what he's doing. And like, uh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool point when, um, you know, the, the hotshot has to come to terms with the fact that they really don't have everything going on. Right. So, anyways, that's, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Uh, I already gave my non-spoilerish feelings towards it. Um, so yeah, it's a good movie. Really, really solid. Um, I, I'll watch a second one and I know they'll make one, so. That'd be really, that'd be something. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. So, um, any movies you're looking forward to? Um, I don't know. At the moment, nothing really comes to mind. Um, I guess Valerian. Um. I haven't heard of that one. It's, uh, it's, it's made by the, the director of, um, The Fifth Element. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's based on a graphic novel, apparently. I, I never read the graphic novel. Um, it, it, it visually, it looks pretty stunning. Um, that's mostly why I'm checking it out. Um, it's a good reason. I mean, yeah. if this art style hooks you in, or then, you know, hopefully the story and writing will kind of follow suit. Yes. Yeah, totally. Um, besides that, I'm, there's not really... I don't know. There's not really many movies that I can think of. I've 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 really seen all of the all of them that I've wanted to see this year. Um, what about yourself? Um, um, I mean, it's already out, but I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy two yet. Oh shit! Uh, which I don't know why I haven't. To be honest, I really should get on that. It's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. I I like the first one a lot, and um, I re- I really kind of enjoyed that one because, well, for one, it. For Marvel, for a Marvel film, it did feel. It also had its own like identity, mm-hmm. and what I liked about it is it had this camaraderie with the characters, and it was a film specifically about the characters. The story was pretty secondary, which is fine by me because if the characters are strong enough, which they are, mm-hmm. then it carried it along, right? And um, you know, it had some really funny writing. Um, the world was interesting enough, and like. I don't know if a lot of people have, comp- has comp- have compared the two, but uh, I've always felt that what I liked about the first Guardians was that it kind of had this Futurama esque feel to it, where which is weird to yeah. imagine because like it's not not in terms of its comedic comedy or whatever, but like in terms of how it's these group of like misfit characters in this sci fi world and they all they all poke fun at each other and they're all kind of mean to each other but they still care about each other. It's that like really good dynamic mm-hmm. and you know there's like a good variety of different characters that that kind of reminds me of um and parallels Futurama to me and I love Futurama I I um I love it as much as I do Simpsons so yeah um yeah and Guardians 2 Guardians 2 from what I can see I saw one trailer seems to be more of that so totally totally uh they they definitely I don't know it's as a <sighs> As a story, it's stronger, but um, I think that Guardians of the Galaxy 2 suffers from uh, sequelitis. Um, oh, is it too similar? Uh, it suffers from the idea that, oh, this, this, uh, this worked in this film, let's do the exact same thing in the other film, but more of it. Oh, I see. Okay. So, don't let that sway you. Um, I mean, I'll go in with an open but, mind regardless. Uh, um, yeah, good. Uh, but Because, uh, again, it's all about, for me, but the first one was all about the characters, not the story. So if this is more of, like, character stuff, then I think I could look past that. Good, good. Um, like I said, the story is stronger. Good. So, That's great. And it has a uh, it has a villain that actually kind of, you know, makes sense and that you understand. So would you say this is better than the first one in that way? Uh, I think I like the first one better, actually. How so then? Uh, because you know it's more original. Um, and it, what do you mean? Because like the first of the bunch, you mean? Like it's the first. Yeah, that did it, it? it was the first. It was the first thing that did it. Oh, I can see what you mean. Yeah. And, and plus, like it, it was more, it was more internal, like with Peter Quill, right? Because the story was really about him. Oh, is this not quite like that? Well, it, it's still about Peter, but um, it's um, the the movie spends a lot of time with um, the other characters. Um, okay. 
the, I, I can't I can't say too much. But, all right, uh, all right. I'll just take your word for it. Out, but, just um, check it out. Yeah, I I definitely will. It'll, it's it's on it's on my radar. Yeah. I I will definitely say that the soundtrack to the second one is better than the first one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's cool. It has um, oh, what is it? Fuck. What's it called? Uh, never break the chain. I guess that's I guess that's the name of the song from uh, Fleetwood Mac. I don't, cool, I guess. I don't know what that is. If, oh, you're gonna. Okay. If you don't love me now, then you're never gonna love me again. I can still hear you say it. <laughs> never break the chain. That's. You know what? I'm sold. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah. Soothe those sweet notes through my ear canals. Oh, that that was. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Yo, it's higher than a than a under a a man boob right now. It's so fucking hot in here. Yeah, I know. Like this is. I can see why you took your shirt off. Yeah, you were harking on me before, but look at me. I'm I'm all comfortable, and you know, uh, and, and you're you're over there sweating like a like a doggone hooker in church. What? Have you never heard that phrase? No. Sweating like a hooker in church? But you said a dog hooker. Uh, no, I said dog on hooker. Oh. What? Okay. I've never heard that. Okay, then. But I, I, I guess I could see that. <sighs> well, folks, how are you liking our first podcast? <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I've got a few more things I could talk about. Bet, you, bet you're glad you, you listen and you, you dumb fuck. Yeah, yeah. This is, um. I mean, I'm hoping that most people listening are doing something else on the side. I know that's I, I know that's how I listen to <laughs> what. Whenever I listen to a podcast, I, I I act like a like a child listening to the radio on in the fifties. I I I lie on my belly in front of my computer with my hands on on my chin, and I just I kick my legs in the air, and I think to myself, "Oh boy, I can't wait what topic they're going to say next." Oh boy, oh boy, it's different every time. Transition to the next topic. No. So, What's the next topic of conversation, Mike? Well, I mean, it's a very good segue. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm good at that. Now that you brought that up, and I, I mean, I guess since we're on the topic of things we watched, uh, just uh, oh yeah, shit. What's up? Uh, Let me. What were you gonna say? The anime that we were just. Watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, quite a few. You hope maybe probably know what this anime is. I don't know if you guys heard of Madoka Magica. It's, um, it's actually pretty. It's, it's pretty well known in the anime community at this point. Mm. Um, and I, uh, I've watched the complete thing a few times already. Uh, and I got my friend Zach here to watch uh, three episodes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And um, what, were, what were your thoughts on it? Well, I was, um, yeah, like you know, I, I, as I was saying to you, like, um, like when when we first saw it, I, um, you know, it was all like cutesy and stuff. Yep. And, um, and yeah, you weren't quite into the cutesy. Uh, uh, I wasn't so stuff. much into that, but um, you know, then I think I think like everything changed when they went into the labyrinth. Yeah, into the little pocket dimension, and um, then like the whole art style changed. And also, spoilers um, for the first three episodes, by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, I fucking love um, clip art animation. I think that stuff is so cool. Um, it was, oh yeah, yeah. The, 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 when they go into the labyrinth, the the art, it's just I don't even know how they they come up with that. It just I don't know. Um, it, like boggles my mind a bit. It's fucking cool. It's really cool. And like the the witches are done in, in a very different way. I was expecting like a more traditional witch, but uh, they went in like the completely opposite direction. Oh, that would have been way more lame, wouldn't it have been? Uh, I guess so. I was expecting it to be a lot like darker and scarier and creepier and more gruesome, but. Uh, yeah, but instead they go for this kind of uncanny weirdness. Yeah. Which I feel is really creepy all on its own anyways, because it's, it's... What I like about the way they portray it is it's just kind of otherworldly in a way where you can't really even comprehend what it is, because it's not quite... Like, it's not human, it's not anything. It's this... Yeah, it's 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 in between reality. Like, uh, it, it just completely bends it. And, and it's really smart. Like, um, and like, I was, I was raving about the soundtrack. I... Yeah, dude, the musical score. I think that I think it's really it's brilliantly done. Like uh, to to whoever was in charge of that 
Congratulations. You did it. Actually, um, I think... Let me look it up. Because I actually have the soundtrack on my phone. Oh, do you? Yeah, seriously. Cool. Um, and let me look up who... Oh, yeah. Like, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Um, so... <laughs> So if you were if you were walking down the street and uh, okay. a weird cat with um, tentacles coming out of its ears popped out of nowhere and said and 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 it telepathically said to you, "Hey, ask me for a wish, any wish you can think of, and I'll grant it to you." And then you'll become a magical girl. What would you What would you choose? What kind of wish? I would become a magical girl. Yeah, you'd become a magical girl. Can I kick it? I, I guess. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I'd be too scared of the thing, to be honest. <laughs> really? I mean, what, what, what would you do if this weird, tiny magic thing just looked up at you with its red eyes? Yeah. And it just, like, telepathically, it doesn't open its fucking mouth. Yeah. It's like, I, I'll i turn you into a magical girl for one wish. How would you honestly react to that? Uh, I'd, I'd say, thank you. Um, I'm not interested in what you're selling. And then I keep walking. Yeah, I guess that's another way of doing it. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking kick it. <laughs> it's a tiny little cat, man. Look, I wouldn't kick it. Why, but would, you, why would you do that? Because uh, <laughs> I'd, t- I'd take it by both of its fucking ears and <laughs> I'd like poke its eyes with it. Oh no! <laughs> that's like another step. Oh man! <laughs> oh Jesus! P.P.S. Guys, I I actually. I love I love all animals. Don't don't get the wrong idea. You, you abusive asshole. Oh, fuck you. Uh, yeah. I need more water, by the way. Sorry, it's really hot in here. Yeah, we. My apartment doesn't really have air conditioning, so like all the air just kind of sits, and uh, it can get pretty moist. Well, it's like funny because like in my apartment, um, <clears throat> there's no air conditioning either. But, like, at the very least, I have a fan going. However, we can't have the fan going because that'll make the audio sound really shit. Yeah, it, it could pro- possibly get in the way of the uh, Oh, I know. The recording, so. This, uh, this microphone picks up, like, everything. It really does. It's pretty nice. What were you going to say? Go ahead. Okay, I, I, while we're on the subject, I might as well just say this right now. Um, as an animator, I also, also look at the animation of Madoka Magica and, like... Yeah. And, like, it's it's pretty good overall. Like, I like a lot of the... Like, a lot of anime, they just have characters completely still a lot of the times to save money. But this show, I noticed they'll have them doing something at quite a few times. There's, like, little mannerisms that the characters do, which I really appreciate. Mm. Uh, but what I really love is when they... Of course, a lot of anime is like this. But when the anime go... When Madoka goes into the full, like, action stuff, like, in episode three with Mommy, and even episode two. Oh, yeah, episode two is... Bad yeah, ass. yeah, yeah, and like one shot specifically that I love, and I every time I look at it is um, I don't know if I can have like a visual cue or if we could post a picture of what I'm talking about, but it's um, it's like a it's like a wide shot, and she's mommy's like really tiny on the screen, and she's just kind of like flailing her guns around and like shooting all of the witches all at the same time and it's just yeah. really dynamic you don't even really see her all that well but it's so dynamic and it's pretty great yeah 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 yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I love that kind of thing the choreography was very nice yes yes it was <laughs> it was sick Mike what would you do if um, you were randomly stuck in that pocket dimension and uh, a bunch of weird clip art shit was just Dude, be... flying all around I think I'd be mentally scarred for life <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean for real that I don't know how the characters in this show weren't. I mean, that shit's terrifying. Yeah, totally. This weird fucking, like, scissors coming at you and, <laughs> and weird laughing. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Would not, would not dig it so much. That would, that would most certainly um, uh, be awful. Mike, what would you do if I randomly started talking with uh, the main character's voice? Please don't. Please don't. I don't think I'm physically capable of that. No, no, you're not. But uh, what what would you do if that just became my normal speech? Oh, just suddenly? Yeah. I'd say that it'd be a good voice for you. Okay. It would match you perfectly. What what if um what if you came over one day and yeah. I had her pigtails and like her really weird like huge eyes, and um, I, I basically had her face on my body. What would you do? Um. 
It'd be a good look for you. Okay, Mike, I, I got a scenario for you. Oh, fuck. Okay, go. Okay. Go. So you're sitting at home by yourself. Uh, your parents are out. Mm-hmm. It's pouring rain outside. Yep. In fact, not just pouring rain, it is like storming really bad. There's yeah. like lightning and thunder. Great. And there's a knock on your door. Okay. Do you answer it? Yes. Okay. So you answer it, and standing in the doorway is uh, Mommy. And, uh, okay. Uh, Mommy, the character from uh, this anime we're talking about. And uh, she she's she's dripping wet, and uh, she's wearing a raincoat. Okay. And uh, she says, um, excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you, but my car broke down. Oh, my. And uh, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if I could use your phone. Uh, what the th- fuck is this? What? Okay. So would you let her do it? Would you, would you I mean, sure, phone? sure. Okay, cool. So she calls, she calls her her friend, and uh, she said um, that her friend is going to be there uh, in an hour. Okay. And um, oh, and, okay. and and she's asking you if she can if she can hang out uh, at your place while while you wait for the uh, or while she waits for for her friend to come and pick her up. Okay. Do, do you let her do this? Like, what would you say? What would you do? I mean, I, I guess. Okay. I mean, if a car is broken, it's not going to be standing out in the rain. True. Okay, so... What the f- Okay. All right, so so she, so she's hanging out, and uh, she's sitting on her couch, and uh, and she's making, like, conversation with you and stuff. Um, and, and, then, and then she... Then you see that cat with the, with the ears and the, and the shit coming out of it. Okay, ears. yeah. And uh, and it says, if I will grant you a wish, and you'll become a magical girl. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'd be like, no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what What was with the buildup? What was the point of that? <laughs> she 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 her car breaks down, and <laughs> and her friend's gonna come pick her up, and then 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 suddenly, Cube shows up, <laughs> and. You want to become a magical girl? <laughs> it's a great fucking... Kubi shows up and says, I will grant you any wish, and then you'll become a magical girl. What, what if you... I say no? Then what? She just leaves. That's it. W- what if... What if Kubi wouldn't stop asking you? Like... The okay, whole... then I would kick it. <laughs> okay, but like... If you kick it, then like... Mommy like... Conjures up a gun and like... Points it at you. I don't think she'd do that. To okay. a human being, what if? Hmm, what if when uh, when mommy uh, sat sat on your couch, suddenly the the labyrinth appeared, and uh, and your in your house became a pocket dimension, with a bunch of weird like cut out. <laughs> what what shit. if? What if? I, I would try to leave. <laughs> <laughs> These are the worst fucking. Like, <laughs> Mike. Okay, 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 okay. What about this? What about this, Zach? Okay, so so so, <laughs> so you're sitting at home. You're sitting at home. Okay. And, and you're watching TV, and you open the door. <coughs> you open the door, and suddenly, and suddenly, uh, a Shrek appears at your door. And Shrek comes in, and he's like, Mike. Shrek is a cartoon character. This would never happen in a million years. Hey, listen. You got you got to listen to me. All right. So 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 Shrek comes in. He's just like. I ran out of onions back in my uh, swamp. Can I borrow some of yours? That's a terrible... I'm sorry. And, and then you're like, what would you do? Um, I'd say I don't have any onions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have any onions. Oh, I smell a liar when I see one. I'd, That's what he says to you. I'd say, sorry, I don't. And then I close the door on him. What if he like kicks it down? And he's just like, just like in the beginning of the movie. And he's just like, somebody wants... Shh. And he kicks the door. Um, like he kicks my door down. Yeah, he does. And does and he sings "All Star" by Smash Mouth. No, it's just playing. Oh, oh, it's it's playing. Well, shit! I I think I'd run into the kitchen and grab a knife and try to try to get him out of my house. And and then and okay okay so you what if he gets his pitchfork then what? Shrek doesn't use a pitchfork. He does. When? When does he ever use? All the time. You remember that? It's a deleted scene in the movie where he when he stabs three guys with a pitchfork. Yeah, he just goes right at it and 
Yeah, he fucking impales him and like all their and Smash Mouth plays while he does it. Nice. Um, okay, what if you had a pitchfork? Yeah, what if you had a pitchfork? I'd say, dude, fucking get out of my house. What if he's like, get out of my swamp? I'd say I'm not in your sh- swamp. And then what if he goes up and he's like, whoa! I'd, I'd jump on his head and take his ears and I'd <laughs> like fucking skip rope with him. How would that work? I'd stretch them out really long and <laughs> <laughs> jump rope with his ears what if it works like in Garfield where like with Odie's ears where you pull one and then the other one gets really short <laughs> it's like <laughs> that, that's great then I'll just pull out his ears and <laughs> skip rope with them and strangle him with it <laughs> Jesus it's not a hard answer Mike well okay you 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 stopped the franchise. You stopped the Shrek franchise. Great. How dare you? Awesome. I really like Shrek one and two. Shrek one and two are good movies. They're really good. I, I like them. I um part of me feels like the second one might be even slightly better. Well, the, and we've we've talked about this extensively before. Yes, maybe, we did. But uh, the the first one the first one is an actual story. It's an actual. I know, granted, it's it's fairy tale and it's a parody, blah, blah blah. But it's an actual story, you know. Yeah, it's true. It is. It about, is about um, about you know. Don't judge people. Uh, fucking be tolerant of of others. Be true to yourself. Know what you want. <clears throat> You're right. Um, and the second movie is just a comedy. That's and true. It's a parody of Hollywood. Yeah, I think the first film is a better standalone. Yes, but the second film. It's definitely a more fun movie. To be completely honest, you could watch any of those movies just out of out of order. And uh, well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, Shrek one's the perfect build up to two because two guess takes place pretty much right after one, right? And you wouldn't be so attached to these characters until you've seen one. I guess so, but I mean, like, even if even if you showed me number two, uh, like, well, it would still be a good film. The movie starts off with with a newlywed couple having a honeymoon. Yeah, but that's a weird. I guess, but like. But you wouldn't have the context of Fiona being a human first. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And then, like, all oh, the things that they talk about wouldn't make much sense. All right. All right, fine. You got me, Mike. Mm-hmm. I did. Ugh, I feel like a fool. Better feel like a fool. And you say you were like the Shrek fans. <clears throat> Everyone, Mike is a huge Shrek fan. I mean, I, I did. That's not a lie. I loved those movies as a kid. All the memes and gaffes aside, good movies. Okay, Mike, I'm going to look up um, Shrek uh, fanfics. No, 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 please. No, no, no. No, no, this is this is where the podcast goes down the shitter. Don't worry, it's not going to be like our race. Is this a Shrek and Shadow fanfiction? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. I mean, just... Why are we doing this? Um, I just I just want to read chapter one. Can oh, I, can I do that? Can I do that? How long is it? It's not a long look. It's just a few paragraphs. Oh, Jesus, fuck, I'm not going to... One day, Shadow the Hedgehog was sitting under a tree blowing uh, a tissue. That... Oh, is, what does it say? <laughs> um, nope. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Continue reading that. What no. Was, what was he blowing? Nothing. <laughs> he was blowing his nose. And then he saw Shrek and uh, that's it. I'm sorry I did that. Yeah. yeah. I, take it, I knew I this take was going to happen. I take I, it back. Wow. That, that, that like accelerated right away. That... <laughs> With that beautiful thing, I think um, this podcast devolved into... <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. The meme tra- no, it's it's fine. Should I leave the show? Huh? Should you? Uh, maybe you should get like another co-host <laughs> for the show. Because oh. obvi- obviously I failed. No, no, this is no. It's great. I don't normally do this. No, buddy, I wouldn't do the podcast with anyone else. I'm usually a good boy. We only tell him that. Well. Anyway. All in all, I think this is the perfect end to a uh, great podcast. Okay, I'll, I'll play us out, Mike. All right, do it. Anyways, uh, thanks thanks for listening to the podcast. My name is Zach. And I'm Mike. 
Oh, and uh, also on a seri- uh, a little bit more of a serious note, if you have any questions about the industry or uh, animation in general or or if you have any questions on how to get started or anything, feel free to ask questions in the comments or whatever. Yeah, leave your questions in the comments. We'll read them and we'll answer them in the next episode. And yeah, we, we'd be more than happy to do that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it'll give us something to talk about. So Yeah, that's true. That's definitely something. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, come back next week. Where's the lyrics? Oh, go, go, go on again. Go okay. on again. Mike and Zach is having a podcast now. Zach is having a podcast. Come and join the cartoon casters. Bye, guys. <laughs>